Back now with a big thank you to some of our heroes of the water. This morning, a local boater who may not have made it without the help of the Coast Guard thanked the crew that saved him from certain doom. Then your science, Kara Dixon, was there for the reunion. Kara. Tom Anita, Jack Van Omen has traveled to over 60 countries in his boat. He says he's alive today and able to continue traveling because of the Coast Guard. I have to apologize because it was mostly my own fault. The apology from Jack Van Omen is the first thing he mentioned when talking about his boating accident. Thank you very much. Today at the U.S. Coast Guard base in Portsmouth, he met those who helped him fix the problem he thinks he created. I'll wake up. Uh, feeling that the boat is grounding. It's very early in the morning, and we get a call saying Mayday over the radio. June 23rd this year, Van Omen was on his way to a boat show in the Northeast when his own boat, the Fleetwood, ran aground near Myrtle Island in the Atlantic. The command center in Portsmouth quickly dispatched a helicopter crew from Elizabeth City. Saw him down in the water. They uh, hoisted me down. All of a sudden, I see this head, you know. Stick over with his chin right over that ledge, and and he said you have to go in the water, and I said I have to go in the water. <laughs> I thought they could just pick me out of the life raft, you know. Van Omen was able to finally meet those behind the distress phone calls for the first time. Never once met anyone that I've had a hand in helping to rescue and, and reunite with those who pulled him out. 80 year old man who's been sailing all over the world the past few years has seen so many things in his life. It's an experience both sides are grateful for. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> They're even more thankful Van Omen can continue to sail the seven seas. Getting another lease on life, to, to simple as that. So uh, thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. Van Omen says everything he owned was on that boat. He's currently rebuilding it next to the Coast Guard base in Cape Charles. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.